Okay, so this evening I gave a talk called On Becoming a Writer at the lovely Irma Stern Museum. I hope you can see the paintings around me. And uh, the idea behind the talk was to tell people a little about the bit about the process of becoming a writer. Because I think so many people would like to write a book or have started and they feel discouraged. Um, and I wanted to share my own experience and how particularly in the beginning, I mean, when I wanted to become a writer, I went and asked um, a published author, um, tell me, how did you get a publisher and an agent? And they were just the wrong questions to ask. I should have asked, how do you become a writer? What needs to happen to you personally to become a writer? So I wanted to talk about that process, which is very much a, a process of actually becoming yourself, getting accustomed to who you are, because you can't hide any aspect of yourself in your writing. You can't pretend to be something you're not. So, so becoming a writer is, first of all, being discovered as who you are, and that sometimes takes help from a mentor or two. Um, and then the, the the most important thing, I suppose, and I hope the audience weren't disappointed, but you do need to suffer to become a writer. You do need some kind of pain and you need to acknowledge that pain. But I mean, in my own writing, that pain has always come along with humor and, um, and with affection. Um, I spoke quite a bit about the importance of routine and self-discipline, you know, things like getting up early in the morning to write and and working to deadline and, and fitting your writing in around your, your family. A large part of becoming a writer is actually, I, I would call it serendipity rather than luck. Because I think what happens is you meet people who are going to make a big difference to you as a writer. But it's not sheer luck. It's not just like tripping over something. In a way, those people meet you because you were already trying to become a writer. And then they happen to find a book with your poem in it. Or they happen to, to meet you at a reading that you do. And then they offer some help and they uh, forward your career. I, I also spoke about failure. I think, I think failure is underrated. You know? It's quite important to, to fail, fail well. And then, and then actually try again um, to, uh, to accept your, your failures. Uh, some, some of them actually were bits of bad writing. Um, and there's always the possibility of coming back to that same theme and doing it really well. Um, yeah, so not giving up hope, working hard, uh, making friends with failure, um, watching out for the people who can help you, and the great importance of those first people who read your work. I mean, hold them to your heart, keep them with you forever, because a writer is not a writer without readers.